Hello everyone, and welcome to this new match day. Uh, so let's quickly have a look at who our opponents will be today. Castagna. So Castagna going to be our next opponent. And, well, actually they sit here in the league, so it, this might be an opportunity for us to get back on track with the point amounts. The problem is that at very first sight I can see, well, I can somewhat remember how, the well, the way they play, but the problem is uh, that they have been conceding quite a fair amount of goals, but they have been scoring a lot, and this is the worst possible moment for our defence. So, yes, uh, I'm afraid we'll have to fight very hard for this. Let's quickly have a look at what their team looks like. Uh, what's happening to this page, which has frozen. All right. <coughs> so, Castagna. Yes, I could remember something like that, but I think they used to play with a defensive midfielder here, or central midfielder here. And they have actually improved the, the quality of their strikers by a lot. Four and a half stars, 10.5, 25.7. Oof. Oof, oof. So 23 with four stars. 33.6 with four and a half stars. 32 with four and a half stars. Oh, they have improved a lot. 40.2 with four and a half stars. They have improved a lot. They were scared of uh, of being um, demoted, apparently. So, four stars, 19.1. 23.6 with four stars. 15.5 with four stars, disqualified also. 32.5 with four and a half stars. So, what are we seeing here? We are seeing a uh, somewhat uh, not immensely experienced defense and uh, very good offensive midfielders and strikers. They've got a very good goalkeeper, so they are extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Uh, what we have to do here is going very defensive. So that hopefully the opponents will not be able to shoot at all. Um, well, first of all, Shorey will replace. Like, or replace Storari, like so. And then we want to have the strongest possible defense here probably fish nullet is more suitable for this role let's have a look 25.7 and on the left we've got 10.9 so we'll beat him with 13 anyway thanks to fish nala um, then shory We'll have to play here where the most dangerous strikers a striker is. And then we have Oof um Well I'm afraid direct balls will not help because the opponents will probably well they'll play normal with throw balls. So we'll go very defensive. But actually, I think we should exploit this space here because, as you can see, the opponents have left the whole of the midfield very open. But they were probably playing like this because of that specific opponent. Let's have a look if we can download the other ma the previous match in a fair amount of time. Yes, so oh, they've been playing with the uh, in the cup. 
Let's have a look at what they played like against Marino SV. It's going to take a while. Let's see if we can think of something different. So, defense wise, this is the best we can do. There's nothing else, literally nothing else we can do. We might probably want to sign a new defender, but this is the time where well, we are somewhat uh, recovering from a very difficult financial period so I do not want to spend any more money on on players to be honest and what we can do now mm, let me think I'm sorry this is getting very slow but this is a very crucial match uh, 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 uh. Well, our midfield is anyway as thick as theirs, plus we've got four defenders. Worst case scenario, well, at least technically speaking, which is not always what happens uh, in uh, during the matches, but technically speaking, the, um, the, the worst thing here is the fact that we only have two strikers against those four defenders. All right, because for the rest we've got two strikers. Uh, well, we have four defenders against two strikers and four midfielders against four midfielders. On top of that, our midfielders are in the middle of the terrain and of the pitch, and uh, the opponents do have these two wingers, who are basically. Uh, playing far from the goal because uh, well the wings are the somewhat least dangerous area of the of the pitch because of course the area you can shoot from is basically this one no sorry to to big from here to here to here so inside this area you can shoot but from here that will be nearly impossible from here same thing same from here or from here so we have to protect the central part of the of the pitch and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that with those four defenders plus four very defensive midfielders and let's wait for this to uh, to load for the match to load so that we'll have a more complete perspective on the on the opponent's lineup. So Yossa Scandalo are ready for the challenge. At least I, I hope so. They're only C, but uh, they've got higher qualities than the opponent, so than the opponent's defenders. So we might be able to at least not give the ball away every time. Uh the main problem here is the goalkeeper who's very 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 strong let's have a look at the advanced tactics because I'm afraid the lineup itself is is the best we can have uh, so very defensive direct balls which is the thing I have the most doubts about uh, I have more doubts about because we might want to play short passing but the problem is that we have uh, very defensive midfielders here. Well, we're play playing very defensive, and we have many midfielders here. So, uh, well, central midfielders, not offensive, which means we'd be playing the ball where they have their offensive midfielders. So here, at the limit of the penalty box, uh, long balls. Uh, it's probably not the case with this kind of players. Throw balls could be an option, an, opt an option actually. Just like they do. How fast are the opponent's defenders? Ooh. Well, he's disqualified though. So, well, fast, 
fast and impressively resistant but fast now these guys are of a very complete defense They're somewhat low with heading skills but come on the rest is impressive the rest is really impressive chalk of 15 with speed with pace Fur mm. balls is not ideal. Probably um, our strikers are even slower. Probably our striker are act uh, our strikers are actually slower than the opponents. So we might want to go with direct balls or balanced or balanced. Long shots, good finishing. It's a bit worse. Long shots. Yes, let's go with a balanced playing style. That's the only thing we can do, I'm afraid. So, um, They've been playing the same, exactly the same way against Marino SV. So, as far as I can tell, they will not change their lineup and they will leave plenty of space here. Yeah, they're supposed to leave plenty of space here in the midfield. We might want to play with our wingers here, but the um, problem is this one. This one, guys, too strong for our wingers. So we have to to try and play in this on this part of the pitch. We might even risk something to try and score, but I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Well, let's try. Anyway, if we go too defensive and we'll let the opponents play and shoot from a distance, they're going to crash us anyway. So, because we've got a somewhat low defense, some low level defense, and uh, so they're going to pierce through somehow at some point. Um, what we can do is defending with these very good defending uh, midfielders plus our our best possible defense which is not very strong still our best possible option and hopefully we'll be able to exploit some space thanks to Brickle despite playing very defensive so yes I'm afraid this is it uh, I was hoping this would be uh, somewhat easier but again uh, this league has improved its level since the, uh, the past season which was very high level already but uh, since the last season this league has improved in a massive way and I truly believe that these guys are going to go bankrupt very soon because you, you just cannot improve your team that way without spending a whole lot of money so um, we'll have to wait uh, quite possibly by the end of the season some some um, clubs will be bankrupt. Will go bankrupt. So we we'll have to uh, sit tight and and wait for the uh, for the storm to go to go away. So guys, thanks a lot again for watching, and uh, of course see you tomorrow. Let's cross. Let's all cross our fingers, and let's support the team. Thank you, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.